Well, good afternoon. Well, I'm putting together a little video here. It's going to be a very short one. It's going to basically consist of two experiences that I've had in the last few days. Uh, the first is when I was down in Albany, and uh, I kind of on a whim, I realized I'm, I'm right near the New York State Museum. I had been there before, years ago, but I decided just to run in there and take uh, the last 20 minutes that they were open and kind of video whatever I could. And uh, I, I did see a few interesting things. I'm going to share those. Now the second part of this video, this is kind of random, is when I was over visiting family in Massachusetts and uh, we decided to go to a Springfield Thunderbirds hockey game. Now, this is a playoff game, the American Hockey League uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Kind of an intense experience. If you're familiar with professional hockey, you know, you know playoff hockey is pretty intense. Um, I really just enjoyed the game and uh, didn't really think much about what I was videoing or not videoing. You really aren't supposed to show a lot of the action anyways, because I believe anyways, that because of the, the fact they have broadcast rights and, and all that kind of thing. You're, I don't think you're supposed to show a lot of the actual game action, and I don't in these clips. But uh, anyways, this, this is a long intro for what is a pretty short video. Just take a look and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're inside of the museum now. First thing we see is a taxi cab and then the first exhibit really that we walk our, we're gonna walk into is the World Trade Center exhibit. It's a very solemn one, obviously. Here's a, a piece of the landing gear, according to that sign. This is from engine company six. This engine could pump water 102 stories up. As you can see, it was destroyed and uh, that that happened when a pedestrian bridge fell on top of it. All right, we're not gonna spend any more time in the World Trade Center exhibit. I kind of feel like it uh, either has to be properly documented or not at all. It's just not something that I'm, I'm really comfortable just rushing through, so. Moving on, we're in a subway car. This is a, an old fashioned subway car. She doesn't look too happy. I don't know what's wrong. Just trying to see a few things in the 20 minutes or so that are left in the in the day here at the museum. Washington Heights, 207th Street, Rockaway Park. Okay, Grand Central Station Terminal, a little model here of that. Very impressive. I've only been there a couple times that I can remember. Another look at it over here. Pretty cool.
Well, now we're going to see an actual set that was used to film Sesame Street. And uh, I've turned down the volume because I, I think the, the video they're playing may be copyrighted. So uh, I just i am not going to take any chances. But anyways, this is a, a pretty cool thing, Sesame Street. There's Oscar the Grouch. Wait for it. Wait for it. That is a mastodon. Not to be confused with a mammoth. And uh, this mastodon weighed between 8,000 and 10,000 pounds. It was found in Cohoes, not too far from here. There you see. We're inside of the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. It used to be called the Springfield Civic Center. This is for game two of the Eastern Conference Finals of the American Hockey League. bit of the warm-ups before the game. That team over there is the Laval Rockets, team in red. That's the Springfield Thunderbirds. That's who we're rooting for tonight. second time in 24 hours that these two teams have played. Yesterday they played, or last night, and the Thunderbirds won that game in overtime. This is game two. been a lot of these kinds of things, pushing and shoving. Well, the Thunderbirds just scored a goal. They're still down two to one. Coming out for the second period and uh, getting ready now to start that. said the second period, but I meant the third period. score with 35 seconds left in the game. It's 4-2 to two in favor of the Rockets. So it's not looking good for the Thunderbirds tonight. Oh well. Alright, so there you have it. Now, I should mention that uh, this trip to that hockey game was uh, 
a little bit of a there was a there was a little bit of a sentimental backstory to our going to that game. I won't get into that, but it was a real uh, meaningful experience to go. Uh, now, you're also probably wondering, what is that white stuff on the ground behind me? I, I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's falling out of the trees up there. It's not snow, obviously. This is the middle of June or beginning of June. But anyways, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Wow. I hope I can show you that bird that just flew by. Hang on. Well, the bird is gone. I don't see him anymore. So instead of the bird, I'm going to show you this cat. This cat would also like to see the bird, I think. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.